Now we're going to go back to our master DWT page. And uh, just for the full, so you get the full effect of this, I'll switch to design view. Now that we've got our, our CSS style sheet with the code on it, all we have to do to convert this vertical menu into a drop down menu is to drag this onto the page. So you just drag the file and carry it right onto the page and drop it. And ta da! There's our drop down menu. So let's save that. It wants to pull in the file, yes, overwrite, go yes. This wants to update all of our pages, yes, we want to do that. Now let's take a look and see what it looks like. We'll go back to our home page, our default page, save that, and we'll click at hit F12. And we should have a fully functional drop down menu, so let's take a look. Yep, there it is. There it is. So as you can see, it's a nice drop down menu. It should work in most browsers. Now all you have to do is to customize this for your needs. So you would just need to rename these headings and then link them to the pages that you want. You could also add additional list items or take list items away. So I'll show you where you would do all that you would go into the dynamic web template let's go into split view so like if you didn't want the products page you just go in here it's it's safer to do it in the code view but you just go here and uh, if you wanted to you don't want to call it products call it things oops I can't spell call it things and call it things and if you wanted to call this uh, I don't know whatever call it Elmo Elmo and then you go save, save. It's going to update across the website. Close. So uh, let's go here. Look at all this. Right? It's things, and there's Elmo, right? So we just adjust it. It may be as you rename things that you're going to have to change some of the padding and some of the width where you would change all of the formatting for how the 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 drop down menu presents itself would be in this menu CSS file so you can just play around with adjusting things adjusting the padding adjust, adjusting the width uh, line heights and all that you can play around and uh, this tells you what you're adjusting so this would be the if you made a change here you're changing on the unordered list the list item and the anchor you're changing is actually the the hyperlink so um, there's all these things in here. Uh, that's where you would tweak anything you need to tweak. And then, of course, uh, to change the the link, you just you could change it here, or you could just come into Design View and uh, highlight. So you come in. You could do it this way. Actually, it's probably easier. Just come here and highlight it, and then it'll highlight here in Design View. Then right-click it, and then it'll take you to the hyperlink, and you can change the hyperlink from there. So it can be a little time consuming, a little tricky, but um, drop down menus are nice and uh, they allow you to put a lot into a little area. So I hope this helps give you an idea of what's involved with making a drop down menu. Um, you should always remember that as you're going along and you're doing something like, let's say you're doing something here and you, you make a mistake, don't forget that you can always come up to here and undo it. So I can't tell you how many times I've made a mistake. I forgot what I even damaged, so I had to go back and undo it. So don't forget uh, to undo uh, the undo buttons. You can do it there, and you can also do it in edit. And uh, so there you go. Um, here we go. We're going to close out with taking a final look at the page. I hope this helps, and uh, thanks so much for subscribing. And if you have any questions, don't hesitate to email us, uh, drop us a note or comment. Thanks so much and have a nice day.